Hello and welcome back to the video series on how to create a first person game in UE5. Previous videos we set up movement, jump, and some secondary interactions uh, for the player movement. And in this video we're going to talk about adding, uh, how to add a jetpack ability or like a vertical thrust ability uh, that we can make the character jump up in the air a lot higher than our normal jump. We're going to go into our inputs folder and right click and go to input, input action. Tell this one IA jetpack, well, whatever you want to, but uh, we're gonna call it jetpack. <clears throat> In our input mapping context, we're going to add a new mapping. Here on the bottom, we're gonna search for our IA jump or jetpack. And we're at a keyboard shortcut to this. We'll just use our Q key for right now, Q. So our Q key is assigned to our IA jetpack. We'll compile and we'll go find our character blueprint. So in previous videos we uh, created dash and slide and a couple other things. This video we're going to focus on like a vertical super jump or jetpack ability. So right click, I'm going to search for IA jetpack event. And we're going to choose this to be started. Uh, from started. So if I drag out, we're going to use the same setup we did for the launch character, but this is going to be a vertical launch. So started, we're going to do launch, launch character. And we're going to launch the character in the Z axis. So let's do something really high, like 800. You can play around with that later. <clears throat> okay. And we, we compile and save and go test this out. Our Q key is our keyboard shortcut for this. If I move around and hit the Q key, I can propel myself up higher than the default jump value, which is around 420. Maybe I increase that to 600. But if you notice, I can spam click Q and continue to jetpack up in the air, which may be what you want. But if you continue to go too crazy, then uh, we're still floating in the air, All right? Let's go back down and find our player start. So we do want to make sure that we're not, we're limiting what we want the player to do if that is a choice. So previously, in the previous video, we did this branch of can dash. So we're gonna do a similar function here so that we can stop the player from spam uh, jet packing or thrusting the character up in the air. So we're gonna create a new variable. We'll call this one, can uh, boost, maybe boost, or can jetpack, what do you want to call it? Can boost. So from started, before the launch, we're going to add a branch. Okay. And then the condition of that branch is can boost. Let's compile first. And checkbox over here on the details panel can boost. We want the ability to can boost or jetpack to be on as default. And now if we drag can boost into our condition of our branch, that adds it to the condition. And we can add a delay to the launch. So after we launch the character once, we can add a delay. And maybe we'll put that delay at uh, like 0.6. You can change that however you want to. And then we're going to set the can boost to off and back on before and after the delay. So after the launch, before the delay, we're going to choose set can boost. And that'll funnel that in. And we're going to turn that off. So after we launch the player vertically, we want to turn off the ability of the boost. That will immediately turn off any chance of spam clicking Q. And then we're going to wait 0.6 seconds. And then we're going to set can boost again and make sure that is checked that time. So reset the ability to boost or jetpack the character up in the air. So we can condense this down a little bit. All right, so that's an easy way to set up a uh, boost jetpack and also to stop the player from spam clicking. So we can select all of our components and hit C for comment and call this one jetpack or boost ability. Add a nice color to it. Are you red? 
and organize this with the rest of our setup here. We'll compile and save. So the player can still boost or jetpack, but now they have to wait 0.6 seconds to be able to do that again. So I hit Q. I allow the character to fall down some before I can jetpack again. And eventually I can still get up higher. So you can increase that delay, maybe a little more, 0 0.75, 0 0.8. If I go back into that character blueprint, I can increase this delay, maybe 0.75. If you don't want the character to kind of continuously fly in the air if they spam click that Q button for jetpack. So let's try 0.75. Even if I am um, spam clicking Q, I can't get too high. Okay. So we can play around and finesse those values. We can finesse how high we're jumping with the launch velocity and how long we're waiting before we can boost or jetpack again. So to wrap up this video on how to create a jetpack or boost ability.